Hi there, my name is Miss Roxburgh and I'll be guiding you through A-Level PE here at desk. So, how is this course structured? We have three different elements to the A-Level PE course. We have Paper 1, which is worth 35%. We have Paper 2, also worth 35%. And the remaining 30% is through something called non-examined assessment. This includes the practical and the coursework element of A-Level PE. So, Paper 1 in a bit more detail. This Paper 1 content is covered in Year 12. The paper includes multiple choice questions, short and long answer questions. This includes an 8 mark question and a 15 mark question. The paper is 2 hours in length and it's worth 105 marks. As we move on to Paper 2, this content is covered in Year 13. As with Paper 1, it has multiple choice questions, long and short answers, as well as an 8 mark and a 15 mark question. It is also worth 105 marks and is 2 hours worth in length. As we move on to the non-examined assessment, this is essentially the practical element of the course. You will be asked to perform or to coach in a selected activity of your choice. The activity has to come from the AQA specified list and you will perform showing attacking, defending and tactic and strategy skills. In addition to this, you will complete an analysis piece of work. So you will analyse and evaluate your performance or the performance of somebody else in again a sport from the AQA specified list. This in total is worth 90 marks. 45 marks for the practical element, so the taking part, and then 45 marks for the written part, the analysis and the evaluation. So if you're thinking, am I suited for this course? We as A-Level P teachers always hope for students who are passionate about sport and physical activity. This makes the theory element of the course much easier as you're able to apply the theory content to sporting practical examples in a wide range of sports. We also hope that you have an interest in how biology and psychology work within sport, looking at team sports and also individual sports. We also hope that you're interested in a career in sport or physical activity once you leave desk, whether that be through the route of university or straight into a placement. We also need that, or also require that you are a good independent learner. A lot of the course requires further reading and also the coursework element enables you to show off your independent learning skills. So what do our students go on to study when they go to university? We've had a number of students who've gone on to top universities around the world. These have included courses such as sport and exercise science, physiotherapy, teaching and coaching in sport, and we've also had sports media and business students. The content included in our course is split into three different areas. As previously mentioned, we hope that our A-Level P students have an interest in biology. This is because of the anatomy and physiology area of the course. This also includes physics. We look at how the body works when taking part in sport and looking at the different systems. We also look at sports psychology. In terms of psychology, we look at how we piece skills together. Why do athletes become aggressive in sport? Why do we require high levels of arousal within certain sports and not other sports? And then we also have sport and society. This looks at how sports were formed, we look at the history of sport, and we look at different barriers which prevent people from taking part in sport. The subject is classroom based, but we do try to make the course as practical as we possibly can. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you do consider A-Level PE, and I look forward to seeing you in the near future here at desk. Thank you.